on guys i'm centraxion and this is arc extinction today we're breeding gigas we have one right there oh my gosh what are your stats like increase in health did you get a mutation i gave you my spyglass by accident oh crap this is not going so well show ancestors no okay we're just gonna, oh my gosh, you're a high level. Um, come back here. You're a lower level. Uh, you're a lower level, but you know. Come on, guys. How long do you take to mature? Oh. Okay. Your eggs did take seven minutes to hatch. Behavior, disable wandering. Behavior, disable wandering. Follow me, guys. Follow me, guys. Behavior, oh, back. Follow distance, lowest. Behavior, follow distance, lowest. How many gigas do you think it'll take to take down a Dodo Rex? Someone comment that. I'm thinking I'm gonna maybe hatch eight to 10. Oh no. I knew something like this would happen. Which is why I brought my trusty whip. Come on. We need water already. So yeah, we got four gigas to start off. One is its max level. So that's not bad, but... The rest will need to be... This guy is the max level one. Did any of them get mutations? Um, you go that way a bit. You end one there. Go that way a bit. 220, you... Oh, no. Okay, that works. That way... Don't worry guys, it's they're gigas, doesn't hurt them. Let's check. We have a ton of fertilized giga eggs, by the way. No mutations on the 225. The 214. No mutations on you. I'm currently looking for stat mutations. Pretty sure none of them got color mutations, so. No mutations on that. This is the last one, right? And no mutations on that, great. Also, I have the headless stump skin on, that's the only one I've been able to get so far, but it's still broken. I thought that the patch would have fixed this. Now, if anyone else has Ark on PS4, could you either spawn in or get this skin? And tell me if yours is also broken like this, cause you know, maybe it's just me. Is it just me? That I can't tell you because I am me. I I don't know if anyone else is having the same issue. If you are having the same issue, put that below in the comments for me and the other people who are watching this video to know if the skin is just broken. Like you can't really notice it too much when you're wearing a chest piece because the chest piece covers it. Once you look from the top, that's when you notice it. Obviously, you have no heads, so there's no headshots, but I think there is actually a bit of the nose. Yeah, there is. They didn't edit it all out. Okay, so yeah, apparently this skin's a bit messed up, but I still want to get the emotes. I probably will get a few more of them because eventually at some point, hopefully they'll fix it. Anyways, I will be back. When do these guys need imprints? All around five minutes. I'll see you then, and for most of them. This guy wants a little walk. 
9%. He has matured. 9%. We should be able to get them almost full. Cuddle for you. Easy. Cuddle for you. Easy. Cuddle for you. Okay, so they were all easy. That is very good. You, I think, are still 9 points. They're all about nine, okay. So we should be good. So yeah, I did feed them. Like a lot of food. So yeah. Oh my gosh, they gained 2,000 health from that little imprint. 9% imprint gives them 2k health. No way. Dude. That means a hundred percent imprint will give them like a hundred thousand health. No, that will be ten thousand health. What am I talking about? And I need water, so I will be back. See ya at the next imprint. Okay, so we are on to the second imprint for most of them. We got a cuddle there that's eighteen percent imprint on him. Azulberry, do I have one in my inventory? Yes I do. Put that for the ta tax turn. He does, little buddy. What do you want? Oh, uh, I gotta go get that. Walk with me. So let's get this walk down. Don't run off the cliff. You're already fast! Come on. Bet you can't get me, bud. Ah, uh, it's one of those really long ones. Aw, oh, now it's raining. There we go. So he is. Okay, I gotta go get that cooked prime fish meat. I think I'll be back at the end, cause there's gonna be a lot of imprints. I'll be back at the end of this round on the final imprint, so see you then to like four days later uh the gigas are all fully imprinted they are fully grown up uh they have saddles giga bone costumes and they're fully leveled leveling gigas is fun <laughs> i don't know why but look at all the meat in this guy and i dumped like eight loads of stuff he's full health currently and I'm a much higher level too, like, you know, 105. Still got the same skin going. But, yeah, it says I can level more, but apparently I can't. I haven't been gaining experience for a while now. And I don't think I'm at the max level. Maybe since I'm on extinction, I have to defeat the titans before I get more levels or something. Don't know how that works, since I have not really been on Extinction before this, like, series, I guess that's what you would call it. But yeah, so we got the parent gigas down there, we got four gigas ready to fight the Dodo Rex and the Dodo Wyvern. Like, these are insane gigas. Like, this giga has 40k health and 610% melee. Like, you may be like, that's normal stats for like a Rex or something, right? A fully imprinted Rex? Yeah, right? But, the thing about melee damage, it's not how- that number's not how much damage it does. That's the percentage of the base damage it does. This Giga does six times the base damage of a Giga. Which, you, if you go on Dodo Dex, which is a free mobile app, you can actually see what the base stats for every dino is. But look at this. So, yeah. Those were mate boosted. Yeah. The Kentros do a lot of damage back to us, like 390, but... Yeah. So that's how much damage we have currently. 3,176. If you want to do the math, you can find out what the base damage of the Giga is. Divide that by 610 and you've got the base damage of the Giga. And that is how Dodo Dex finds it out. So yeah, you could literally do it yourself if you wanted to, but why would you when it's already there, so. Yeah, anyways, that is Giga breeding. My first time ever breeding Gigas after just my first time taming Gigas. And 
another cool thing about Gigas, if I drop all of this, you'll be hide and meat related. Oh, maybe, wait, what? Oh, they can't harvest trees, I see. Well, Gigas, they have a weird ability. I'm not sure if this was meant to be in the game or if it's a bug, but... They can harvest cactuses. So if you need thatch or cactus sap and you're on Scorched or Extinction or any other map that has cactuses like Ragnarok. Um, even Vulgaro has cactuses actually. <laughs> Gigas are your best way to go if you want to make clay. So yeah. Wish I knew this before I built that huge base up there without using any cactus sap gatherers, but... Like, look at how much cactus sap we just got! And we just bit that. He also collects a bit of wood, too. Which is a little bit strange. I didn't know Gigas could do that. But look at all this cactus sap now. Like, if I was hungry, boom! I'm full again. Like, I realize cactus sap's not really the best food source, but... Whatever! Anyways! If you like this episode of Ark Extinction, and if you like Gigas in general, which, if you don't, I don't know why you wouldn't like gigas but that's sad because they're basically the strongest creature in the game besides like the dodo rex and stuff because so you're gonna if you like gigas you liked this episode smash that like button and subscribe for more because the next two episodes are most likely gonna be dodo wyvern and dodo rex killing so yeah Smash that like button, subscribe if you want to see that. Cent oh, Centraxion? Out.